is starting tonight at midnight. The city of Laredo ordering that anyone who enters a building that is not their home must cover their mouth and nose with a mask, bandana, scarf or any fabric or face a thousand dollar fine. That is not an ordinance we have here in San Antonio, but just how effective are these fabric hand sewn masks and bandanas? Stephanie Cerna talked to the chief nurse executive with University Hospital who breaks down just how safe they are and if we should all be wearing them. Many people across the city have been wanting to help our health care workers by hand sewing masks. Here's what Tommy Austin, chief nurse executive with University Health System, has to say about the generous donations. What I would suggest for the individuals who are making homemade masks, first of all, want to say thank you um, for thinking of us. Um, our ability to use those would be a, a last uh, ditch effort. Tommy tells us while there is no shortage of face masks at university right now, the reason hand sewn masks would be a last ditch effort is because they are not as effective. With a barrier mask or a cloth mask, then there's an opportunity for you to stay protected, but the efficiency of that mask is not at the rate of 95%, but it is better than nothing. And Tommy tells us that an N95 is your strongest barrier. That means that 95% of the particles are not able to get in. Even an expired N95 is effective. As far as wearing some type of mask in public, Tommy says that may be a good idea because people who are not showing any signs of COVID-19 could still be infected. There is a mixed bag of thought in regards to wearing masks. I would wear a mask personally because it, if I were asymptomatic and I had uh, COVID-19, I would want to protect other individuals from, from uh, contracting that virus. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.